We're doing great. Yeah, we're Hi, doing great. Hi, everybody from Asiana, Asiana Post. Post. My name is Lena Ung. Uh, in Vietnamese, I am also known as Yalin. Oh. So I call myself Lena Yalin. Okay, uh, my name is Gustavo Briand, and I'm from Argentina. And I live here in Miami, but I live all over the world. Yes, so. <laughs> and he also have a really great YouTube channel, Gustavo. Yes. Gustavo's World. Gustavo's World. And he is so great because he mixed all the cultures together. I learned my first Spanish song with him. He learned his first Chinese song with me. And then yes. also learned first Vietnamese song with me. Yes. And I am Vietnamese Chinese and I speak Chinese and Vietnamese, I guess. And yes. English. And you're and such a, a bit of teacher. Spanish. <laughs> Yeah, when we go to the studio, it's so much fun because I go with Lina and I said, Lina, help me because I have the paper. It's called Romanized. When you put all this Asian language into, in my case, it has to be into Spanish. So, and then... And I, English. Well, for me, it's in Spanish because okay. I speak Spanish. Got it, got it. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, so it's called Romanized, any Asian language or any language. So, and then I'm singing it. And it's so funny because sometimes I'm singing something really inappropriate, but I don't know. And then she's telling me, oh, you cannot say this. I'm like, why? Well, because it sounds like this. And it's yeah, just yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like a certain word to mean it could, when you pronounce it right, it means the right thing. And then you pronounce it a little bit wrong, like Vietnamese word. You have to be really careful. Which one was so. that one? Ko? Ko? Yes. Ko. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, you hey, cannot say that. Like, I'm like, why? <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> so tell us, tell us about this event this evening. And, um, where are we exactly? The Moon Festival! Yes, yeah, so we yes. are here, the Vietnamese uh, community of South Florida. Every year we put an event like this together for the community, mainly for children. And oh. what is Moon Festival? Yes. Um, we celebrate it every year and it falls on the uh, lunar uh, calendar, which is on August 15. Um, why we celebrate that? Because August 15 known to have the brightest and the most roundest moon in the whole year. Wow, so that's, that's so why we cool. celebrate. Uh -huh. and, I mean, in in the American calendar, it falls in different dates. Right. But uh, it, you know, in the lunar calendar, it's the, the same day every oh, year. Because we do go by both calendars: the lunar calendar and and the American calendar. Okay. Yeah. Great, great. So this is what's all about for the kids, right? Yes, yeah. For the kids and the family, it's it's kind of um, to explain it. Some some it up. It's like Thanksgiving. Uh, it's like the Thanksgiving for American culture. Okay. Instead of um, you know like so like Thanksgiving, we family gather together, and not only family, we also gather with the neighbors too, and the kids would have lantern light up. Um, over here is a little bit different than where I grew up. Where I grew up, we, we make the lantern ourselves. Oh. Um, so we're all excited about, you know, reading this day before, a week before or two, we start making the lanterns. Um, we use the bamboo sticks and we use glass paper to cover oh. the shape. Like for example, um, star or you could make the fish shape, you could make butterfly shape and you use um, different glass to cover it up. And, and you in the middle you burn candle nice and we normally don't have electricity back where I grew mm -hmm. up so in that night in like mid festival uh, mid August festival night all the lantern lights up and it make the whole village really beautiful oh how beautiful yeah and then not only um, we we do the lantern we also do mooncake oh, I don't know if you heard sounds of mooncake. delicious yeah. I heard of it but I never tried it yet never tried yet you guys yes. I, could, I could let you try some but it's a very beautiful intricate uh, 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 picture of the mooncake and I think they sell it right now it's very popular oh, really? they sell it in Costco too oh wow you could buy it from Costco and um, so they make it inside two egg yolks egg the represent for the full moon okay and uh, like really round egg yolk in there and then they they make it with different kind of ingredients in there um, uh, one ingredient is mung bean and the other one is that's different kind of uh, seed sesame seed uh, or different kind of nuts too nice. so you should try it yeah that's a very very good um, mooncake um, 
tell us about how you guys meet both of you guys you guys uh, it sounds like a you two in the stage you have a good chemistry okay oh really yeah. i'll tell you a story okay so um lena's partner husband gustavo which is the same name as me we did so many courses together uh in the past many years ago so i know and Gustav, before i even dream of the, of singing he used to tell me that his wife uh she's a chinese singer i'm like that's weird but anyway so i know i mean to me it was like i mean what so anyway so then i started learning how to sing I mean, we're talking about years ago and then i've been taking singing lessons all the time and then my youtube channel opens and then i, I sing in any language in uzbek in russian in french in italian in spanish in, in german in english like in chinese now in vietnamese japanese. in japanese i forgot the japanese so anyway so yes i sing in japanese too so anyway the point is that i wanted to do a chinese song and i was doing it on my own and i asked her and she's like oh you can't do that you're too white and <laughs> I did not say yes, that. Yes, you did say You say said that. You said that I wasn't. I, she said that I couldn't do this. And that pushed me even further to do it because you cannot challenge me like this. So, anyway, you did say. I don't oh, think yeah, you yeah. can pull it off. I, 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 fine, fine. Yes. I so, anyway, so I said, please help me because there are some words I knew I was saying wrong. So, and then she says, okay, so let's try this. And then you came to the studio. Yeah. So, yes. basically, it was uh, like a test for me. I never. Normally, when I go singing, I'm a performer. Mm. Uh, I've been performing for many, many years. Oh, wow. And uh, normally, I go up on stage. I, I just do my thing. And I, I hardly go to the studio to record anything. He's like, oh, no, we got to go to the studio to record. Well, yeah, like, especially if I'm going to sing in an Asian language that I don't speak. So I need to pre-record this for you guys. So, I mean, so it comes out. Now. Imagine if I'm going to try to memorize all this. I can't even memorize it in Spanish. I'm not going to be memorizing it in in Chinese so Crazy. anyway it's a different way of doing music I guess yeah. yeah I love this I love to prepare it do it with time and get corrections and like you when you're there and you tell me no no this word is like this imagine if I'm on stage and I make a big mistake that, no that's really horrible so I prefer yeah. it for me you know yeah, yeah. so I, I, you, you're really brave for for somebody who never speaks Chinese or Vietnamese and you want to do those songs and I'm like oh my god but wait Gustavo, you need more time to practice because I just give you the song you why you want to go to the studio right away and record are you sure but it's, <laughs> it's, it's like it was like that but, but it was but it happened it happened so yeah. now I'm gonna do it in and I want to do it in Filipino I want to do it in Thai and I don't know but those are the two languages I want to do so I'm looking for people they want to sing with me in those languages so so to sum, sum it short how we met is through uh, 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 transformation classes yes long long time ago mm, okay. uh, with landmark education and then I didn't even notice him and then until one day he called me hey Lena you want to do something I'm like oh, well, okay <laughs> let's do it pull it off and then I pull off one one Oh, wait, so yeah, so she got she also got challenged people. So she's very competitive. So she says, Well, if you sing it in Chinese, I have to sing in Spanish. I'm like, I don't know. I mean, I thought she could, but then when we went to the studio, it was very difficult. It I didn't even know. Difficult. I felt. Well, well, if you sing it in Chinese, I have to sing in Spanish. I'm like, I don't know. I mean, I thought she could, but then when we went to the studio, it was very difficult. It I didn't even know. I, I thought that, if, but I thought that because your Asian language is so complicated, that Spanish would be so easy, but it's not. Let me tell you. So anyway, what well, she did great. Like you're gonna hear the como la flor. I mean, we have to sing all the songs in Spanish. We cannot sing the same song all the time. So anyway. So how 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 fun was it today? For the event it's, oh my god um, we we have a lot of success i consider we have a lot of success uh, in terms of the people who participating mm -hmm. uh, the community who coming out to participate and we uh we we support the event by having sponsorships you know uh, parents business and any um any um anyone who who wants to support the the event because um the event is mainly for children, so we, we really um, uh, push all the parents to bring their children out to learn the culture that they soon gonna be losing because um, I know that my, my children, they're half Asian. 
But if I don't bring them to this kind of event, they won't know what the culture is there. I don't know, what, just like you, you know, what is a moon festival? You know, like they, they wouldn't know. So we really encourage this kind of function, this kind of event, keep going so that our future generation, our children would be able to know about it and then also hopefully they'll keep it up. Yeah, yeah it sounds really sweet. That is very important in every culture, you know, to preserve your language and to preserve your culture because the thing is we can move to any country you want but it's you know what that's your roots and we're we li we're all brothers and sisters and we live in one planet but still we have individualities that define us and i really encourage to teach your children your language because it is really unacceptable that your children will grow up and not speak your language i i get really upset when that i see these kids that are bicultural and, and and I have to say it's because the parents are lazy and I'm sorry don't judge me but it's because of that if not well, your children will be speaking your language yeah I I mean I know me too I I am um, you know like my, my kids don't speak Chinese or Vietnamese or no they're half Spanish and they don't speak Spanish, Spanish either. either I mean it's like <laughs> what the okay so, so uh, um, yes so this kind of function it's so important for them to see, even though they may not speak Chinese or Vietnamese, um, but they can see like the lion dance and and um, what else we have the lantern uh, uh, contest and also the uh, culture clothing contest. So they know what our um, what our culture look like, you know. Right. And tonight it's very successful because we we fill up. Space. Oh yes, it was so amazing space. and the love of the people, you know, I, I feel really touched at that, you know, every culture demonstrates the support in different ways and I love the Asian culture, it doesn't matter, they, they're so generous and I mean with their love, you know, like when they like you, they're like, oh, here, and I, I just can't take yeah. enough of it. We, come, we, yes. we welcome a lot of uh, different cultures, especially, yeah. you know, in Vietnam, when you go to Vietnam, you see that, oh, they love you. This, this is actually amazing um, that, you know, two, two cultures and you guys are, especially in South Florida, yeah, you, you have, this, you right? have a Spanish and also Asian and Vietnamese combining together. My last question for you guys is that, um, did you guys uh, bought a bigger expectation than last year from this event? We definitely uh, had improved in terms of the organization of the event. Um, Although the competition for the children may look a little chaotic, but they are children. Right. You know, we can't really prep them in advance, and a lot of parents didn't sign them up early. So, so we, um, I know last year was a little bit worse than this year, but this year is a big step up, and I know that um, in the future years, and it's gonna we're be gonna better. keep doing it it's gonna be a lot better yeah but this is like anything in life when you have a business when you have anything like every year or every time that you do the same thing with practice comes out better mm -hmm. so I mean you cannot yeah, be I mean. perfect because the thing is she's too perfectionist that's a problem uh, because yeah. I mean but you have to understand that some people you know, yeah yeah they come late yeah <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, I'm Latino. What do you expect me to show in time? I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so th much. Well, yeah, thank you very much, uh, the, the both of you. Uh, it was a pleasure meeting you guys. And uh, again, we're, uh, if the viewers want to reach out to you guys, where can they uh, reach out to you guys? Right, YouTube channel was... for Gustavo. Oh, okay. Yes, for I Gustavo's have Instagram. World. It's Gustavo Brian Studio. Yeah, I'm telling you, he's so passionate about all this videos and, and music and all this stuff. Yeah. He keep producing. His disciplines and also I admire how how much love you have for this, you know? It's 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 really awesome. Yes, and I he keep he keep doing it. Yes, and I'm, because of the YouTube channel, now I'm studying a career, new career. Oh. So I'm going to be transitioning and it's called cinematography. So I'm learning how to do films. So it's, and I did this for my YouTube videos to come out better and better. So our future videos are going to be okay. amazing. Okay. Yes. No? Okay. What do you mean no? no. Uh, I just asked him, do you believe you're going to be singing in Vietnamese? Well, I, well, watch. Okay, watch. Hopefully you like it. Okay. 
à, một nhạc phẩm gửi đến quý vị nhạc phẩm được mang tên nối lại tình xưa xin mời quý vị thưởng thức dễ Yeah. 
Fairies, fairies, you are so beautiful. Thank you so much for providing such a beautiful dance to us. Very entertaining. Cảm ơn các em nhiều nha. Thank you so much. Trời ơi. Xin cảm ơn. Rất là đông, mình rất là cảm động luôn. Quyền đâu rồi? Dạ, à, em đây chị. Các em thi hút phục chuẩn bị nha. Bên tay phải sân khấu với cô Thanh Hiền. Everybody. That is children, you. children. Are you in competition? Okay, stand right here. Hello, quý vị thông cảm nha. Tại vì cho nên mình rút kinh nghiệm á, cái người Việt Nam mình á, thường thường đợi tới giờ chó rồi đem con lên đăng ký á, thì ban tổ chức rất là khó làm việc và và 